The commodity complex remains under pressure and gold is no exception thanks to strength in the U.S. dollar. But Tom, let's drill down and look at gold some more. Is there more going on just besides what's happening in the currency moves? Well, it's all connected, I guess, to, you know, the China sell-off and the equities there. Uh, you, you have a lot of, you know, people kind of liquidating and some margin calls. So uh, it's pushed the whole metals complex lower, copper, all the metals are down. And I think what you saw yesterday was gold getting hit, a lot of different uh, factors, dollar, China, and then you had those levels, uh, the previous low of around 11, in 11, low 1140s, and it held there. And then so subsequently, you know, you had a little rally today, some of those shorts getting out. Open interest yesterday down around 5,000, so that is some short uh, covering uh, near those lower levels. Are you surprised to see that there's not more demand for gold? Because there is a lot of macro uncertainty in the picture right now. Well, you know, the, but the, the headwinds are really against gold here. With, usually with, these, uh, with crisis like this, we had it even in 08. Gold initially in 08 sold off from uh, $1,000. It got down to around $700. And then when people were aware that, okay, the Fed is going to come in and start to uh, add liquidity, that's what started the, the, the rise in gold. At this point here, uh, we don't see that. We see a strong dollar. The safe haven play right now is the dollar, not gold. So looking a little bit longer term for the second half of the year, what are your thoughts in terms of um, an interest rate hike? Are traders down there pricing it in or looking out to 2016? Because that's really the next hurdle if we take away the news from Greece. Well, you know, that's what, you know the minutes are coming out this afternoon, and I think they're, they're somewhat useless. I think uh, we didn't have the, the, uh, the Greek situation as, uh, as intense as it is right now back in June uh, when they had that meeting, and also you did not have this China sell-off. So, it's interesting. We'll see the next meeting. I mean, everybody kind of was, I think they were uh, pricing in September, but uh, we'll see if some of this subsides, some of this uh, turmoil. Uh, I don't think you want to see the Fed. I don't think they would want to raise rates in a uh, tumultuous market like this. All right. And to wrap it up quickly, some near-term levels you're looking at. You're still expecting range-bound trade. Well, you know, look, the, the main levels here are the old low, which is 1140. You break that, and now you have some, some new people in pain, and you could see a sell-off. Everybody really is looking for that 1050 level, the uh, Goldman Sachs call of a few years ago. And it was also, you know, when, we, when gold rallied from $500, it, it hit 1,000, 1,030, 1,050 a few times and failed. So now that becomes support. So... I think that, that's the key area. On the upside, 1250 You get above that, then you have to maybe uh, take another look at it and maybe you, you get bullish. All right. As always, thanks very much, Tom. You're very welcome. For The Street in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino.